I think to a certain extent, we can predict events and we can plan and make conscious choices. But in many cases, I feel it's accidental. It's by chance. Mm. Uh, so, for example, in early life of, uh, you know, when I, when I was in early part of my life, in my school days, cricket was my big pursuit in addition to my studies, right? Because my father used to play cricket. He was very fond of cricket. Uh, he put me in cricket um, uh, in some, you know, like in, like many fathers, they would want to see their sons and daughters live their dreams in some way or the other. Uh, so my father was always passionate although he was a musician and a great artist himself uh, he played cricket right so that's how i got into cricket so that's how it was by chance but i love cricket and i played cricket well etc um but that was a chance it was not a choice later on when i started developing rich taste in music because that's sort of part of my genes um i i had to make a choice between music and cricket where am i going to spend time other than studies uh, in all these pursuits and then I decided music that was my conscious choice because I truly pursued what I love the most not necessarily what is going to be uh, going to give me money or fame or uh, going to give me uh, some stability in life in material sense of the word um, I never did that so I think that was by that was purely driven by my heart right mm-hmm. but later on when one starts dealing with the more difficult choices in life let's say choosing your life partner uh let's say choosing your first job right because these are all very important milestones uh let's say uh choosing uh, your friends right now you know our friendship right how it has grown i mean we were a group of 10 people it has grown by chance by accident yeah. uh, do you really think really we did an evaluation and selection of friends we didn't right it happened by chance um so some of these decisions happen and they benefit in many ways right uh, choosing my la- life partner, I fell in love with Sanjeevani. That was by chance, right? Uh, choosing my first job, conscious effort, right? In terms of what to do. N- deciding not to play for England. When Vasuparan's Swissar told me, why don't you go to England and play from there? I, I can arrange for sponsorships. I had a great chance to actually play cricket from there and actually represent the country because the competition in England. Um, that time, it was felt that it was much less than in India. I mean. You see the population, you see the demand, demand supply ratio is pretty clear, right? Yeah. So I could have made that choice and gone to England and played cricket from there. But I decided not to, made a choice to uh, focus on music. That's that's what I love, right? Mm-hmm. Although I knew that uh, probably I would probably have a better chance of making it to a test match or becoming a test player uh, if I play from England, I still didn't do it. I, I think, uh, therefore, these are some of the examples I'm giving you, Vinay, just to illustrate my point. Uh, so I feel that when one is dealing with change, uh, one can plan uh, certain things properly, but one has to also be ready for uh, receiving change, adapting to change uh, that happens to you, that occurs to you that uh, by chance, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's, it's, it's always a combination. It's never uh, one versus the other. But while making a decision, I think your framework should be clear. Your objective function should be clear, just like in mathematics. And therefore, if uh, one gets that right, then you can make a choice very clearly, right? And sometimes it's a choice made based on criteria that are very logical. Sometimes they are they are they are, they are criteria which don't seem logical, but they are. But they, they this is what we call this is what people call emotions mm-hmm. and feelings. Uh, but in life, uh, decision is always a combination of emotions and uh, logic. It's never either or. Mm. 